welcome to Facts or Frauds. What you are witnessing is real. The participants are not actors. Judge State just gave them access to report. Right. Perfect. So, Miss Pugh, Mr. Jeffries has been appointed to represent you. Um, he's just been given, he's trying to get caught up real quickly on all the information and the discovery in your case. I'm going to reset your case so that he can get all of that. Once he gets it, he'll be out there to go over it with you, and we'll see if we can get an announcement at the next court date. All right. Um, respectfully, Your Honor, I do not agree to comply with any of your appointed court agents, considering that their first duty is to the state. I understand. We've we've had this conversation before. So, if you want to represent yourself, there's some things. Miss Pugh, stop talking over me. If you want to stop talking over me, if you want to represent yourself then there is a process that we have to go through and we'll do that today. If that's what you want to do, we'll get your case set for trial and we'll go forward that way. It is highly inadvisable for you to represent yourself. Lawyers have many, many years of training. They understand the law. They understand how a trial works because here's what happens when you're in a trial and you represent yourself, you're expected to know and follow all of the rules of evidence, all the rules of procedure. And so you're really at a disadvantage if you don't know those things. And so what you can, you have to do everything just like the assistant district attorney would. And if you don't, you're going to be in front of a jury and it's going to show, and it's just not going to be, it usually does not work out in your benefit. But I have to go through with you some questions first before we do that. And then if you still want to do that, then there's a couple of things that we, a couple of options, and we'll go over those as well, okay? So um, I am supposed to ask you, I'm going to go through these questions. I need you to answer them if you want to represent yourself, because this is required, all right? So have you ever studied the law? Okay. Um, have you ever represented yourself before in any kind of criminal matter? Okay. Um, do you understand uh, the charges against you? Okay. And so are you, do you know, and we've gone over before, I think what the range of punishment is if you're found guilty on a jury. Do you know what that is? Let's see. Hold on a second. Let me pull you up here. We'll go over that again as well. So you're charged with a third degree felony offense of injury to a child. Uh, the date of that allegations from June 22nd of 2021. And what that means is if you're found guilty, that the range of punishment um, that the jury could give you is between two years as a minimum punishment up to 10 years in prison, anywhere in between. Do you understand? And the answer out loud, just for the record. Um, do I understand? No, I understand. What do you not understand about that? I don't understand your honor. So here's the thing. If you want to represent yourself mm -hmm. by law, you have to be able to understand these things. Otherwise, I've got to appoint an attorney for you. So you can't just say, I want to represent myself because I don't like the attorney or I don't like the process. Mm -hmm. This is the process that you're in. You live in Texas. You live in the United States. This is the law that applies to your case. So what do you not understand about the range of punishment if you're found guilty? And I'd be glad to explain it. That's what a jury's for, right? And so if you say you're not guilty, then you go in front of a jury and they determine after they listen to the evidence if you're guilty or not. That doesn't have anything to do with if they find you guilty, you understanding that they could send you to prison for between two years and up to 10 years. Do you understand that part? What are you? Yes or no? No, you don't understand that. So, Miss Pugh, it's my understanding. I'm not going to allow you to represent yourself because you don't understand the law and the process. So that's we're on question number four out of 15 that I'm supposed to ask you. So Mr. Jeffries is going to stay on your case. I don't care what you want at this point. You can't do it. All right. You can go back with the bailiff. I'm done. Go back with the bailiff. Go back with the bailiff. 
Welcome to the criminal point list. Yeah, fun, this is this was not meant to be any kind of punishment, I promise. <laughs> yeah, she just vanished. How did she do that? Probably like this. <laughs> yep, that's probably how she did it. And thanks for hanging out with us on Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. You're subscribed. And ring that bell for notifications so the next time from your video, you can meet a live chat with everyone else and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And a huge thank you to all of our Facts or Frauds channel members. And if you'd like to become a member, click on join right next to subscribe or the link in the description. Now, if you're still hanging around, thank you. Why not hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not already, and ring that bell. Also, leave a comment in the comment section tell me what you think. Till next time, I'll see you soon.